Hi, I'm Steph Evans from EvoTech, who are partnered with MSC Software. Here's another one of our MSC Apex Quick Bytes, this time showing you how to create fillet welds for your FEA models. Okay, so we've got a quick example here showing a tube to tube interface where we want to define a fillet weld. So first of all, we're gonna create a weld placeholder and drop that into the assembly. We now need to define the throat geometry for a given weld. So we're gonna create a sphere primitive with a radius of five millimeters, equivalent to the throat dimension of the weld. Pick a vertex where we want to drop that sphere. So this is the um, starting point for the weld, if you like. So once we've got that sphere in place, we're now going to split the sphere to give us uh, a surface of radius five millimeters and revolve that around the the weld geometry okay so pick the surface uh, sorry the, the sphere to get started pick a line to split about uh, the splitting plane we're just going to rotate the split plane by 90 degrees uh, orthogonal to the weld definition so we perform the split we go into the model browser now into the weld placeholder and we delete the half of the sphere we don't want as you can see now we've got that's half sphere defined. So that half sphere intersection with the surfaces represents the, the throat dimension of the weld. So we're now going to revolve that uh, surface around the entirety of the weld profile. So we converted the surface into a solid. And now we're going to use the solid faces to split the, the two tubes and give us the, uh, the throat dimension for the, the fillet weld. So pick the, the two tube surfaces and then pick the external faces of the weld solid. Middle mouse button to accept. And then if we hide the weld solids from view, we can see we've cut those surfaces where the five mil radius or five mil throat um, geometry for the weld would, would cut the underlying tubes. We're gonna use the surface loft operation. We've got the stitch option turned off. So we're not gonna stitch the new surface, or the lofted surface into the tubes. So collect, select the contiguous edges, for both sides of the tube set, and then with the last button to accept, and we've created the fillet weld um, with a five mil throat length. Okay. So we can look in the model browser, just hide the solids, and we've got that surface defined. We're now gonna mesh the entities. So we're gonna use the, the paver mesh uh, with a 10 mil edge length for the two tubes, and then the mapped quad only algorithm for the weld itself. So we've got nice, good quality mesh definition of the weld for, for load extraction. I'm going to create a section. So again, we've got 5mm thickness, uh, an offset of 2.5, and assign that to the weld as so. Okay. We can now check the 3D weld thickness with offset. Uh, in this particular case, we've got the offset going the wrong way. So we're going to model browser, just uh, stick a negative sign in front of the offset, and we've got the material going in the opposing direction. And again, double checking. And we can see we've got the, the weld defined as we want. We now need to tie the discrete entities together. So still respecting the assembly architecture. So we've got the tubes and welds in different parts. We're going to use the mesh dependent tie to uh, enforce level connectivity between each tube and the weld itself. So we've got no load transfer from the tube to tube. So all the load is going through the weld. So we pick the surfaces, pick the edges where we want the ties to be defined. Middle mass button to accept and we've got the ties in there. We can look in the model browser, and we've got those ties defined. Okay, so we repeat that for the other side of the interface, and we're done. I hope you found this interesting. If you'd like to develop your Apex usage, head over to our site where you'll find many online learning opportunities.